Ooh, I could test. I could test the Riftmaker vein build. Well, I'm gonna do my own version that I think is better. Ooh, it's perfect because we're facing Silent Two, I think. Just a slightly little bit rough matchup in into the Kaisa, just because she has a stealth reveal, but it's not a big deal. She's not even guaranteed to hit me with it. Okay, we need cleanse here. I'm also gonna do resolve. I got a lot of burst and dive. Okay, so we're gonna be testing a variation of the um, Rift Maker Titanic Hydro Vein build. Except I think this is gonna be way better because the way that build goes is people do Titanic Hydra into Ginsu's into Runan's into Rift Maker, which at the four item point or even three item point I think is very strong. But before then, especially before two atoms, it just sounds like really fucking bad. So I'm gonna do a variation which is Bork Rush, which is obviously very solid on Vayne, into Ginsu's, very solid on Vayne, very good synergy with uh, Bork. Then we do, is it, is it then Titanic Hydra? Yeah, then we do Titanic Hydra, and at the, at the point of completion there, it's okay because we already have Ginsu's, which has synergy with Titanic Hydra. So it's a lot better than just rushing Titanic Hydra when you have no attack speed. Then we do Runans and then we do Rift Maker. So it's gonna start off with like a regular Vein build, which obviously just plays into Vein's Necro strengths and does end up with the same build overall in the end. We just have a much smoother, build, uh, much smoother time getting there. What? It's trying to hit Leona there. She just randomly dipped into the brush for no reason. Oh my god, they keep going invisible in the brush, man. There we go. Oh, that was such an awkward trade compared to what it could have been. The game's been all right so far. We only played two, one, one, lost one. Damn, it was 52 damage onto me just from her Q. I think she did not on me too. Okay. Oh. Fucking hell, I might be dead here still. Okay, Leona would have had to die for me to die. Okay, she's dead. Perfect. And we go for Kaisa here. We get her. Can we get Fiddle? No! Fuck me, my bad. Now nah, I gotta run. Ow! Oh, for fuck. Dude, if I stunned him, I swear to god, that was a kill. Can't believe he didn't reach the wall. My bad. Um. Alright, we'll just get Berserkers, I guess. Could have done. Vamp substitute, but they don't have um poke, they only have all in, so berserkers should be fine. Should have tumbled before E, I think. Maybe. I mean it only made sense if you knew that I wasn't gonna stun him. Which I thought I was going to. Dude, I'm blind. I only just saw. Just let me have it. Perfect. All right, I need to get back here. Yeah, fortunately, I knew that even though uh, this wave is near the turret, I wasn't actually going to miss almost anything because it hadn't crashed yet. And even once it did crash, it, the, there was the cannon tanking almost the turret for a while. Cleansing the logic of 
too. Okay, Soul Shove. Slow shove this wave, hard shove the next one, then I can base for pickaxe. Did Kaisa just gank mid? I like she did. There we go. Don't bother with any more potions and now uh now that I've got Vamp. I should have got a pink though, especially against fiddlesticks. And especially with a pike, who I feel like as a support is just less likely to buy pinks than most supports. Oh yeah, he's handing me a scuttle crab. Wait, or is he? He's just taking it for himself. Man. Oh, I'm dead. No point cleansing. Yep, that's why we need to buy pinks. Although, I mean, to be fair, in that situation, it wouldn't have mattered because they had Primal anyway, they would have cleared that pink. Oh, bud. Hmm. I don't think she gets a kill here. Does she at least not die? Oof, yeah, just barely. Nice one. <laughs> Shove this as fast as we can. I'll go to Scuttle Crab while Pike is roaming. Oh. Can get the honey fruit for more mana.
second base here. I've got a lot of gold. Oh, guess it's running here though. Yeah, we could also do dragon. Or this is even better actually, we don't have vision. No, just camp here, just camp here. They have to place vision. They have to place vision! Man! Although, actually, if we find fiddlesticks. Nope, not happening. Any chance I could get the red buff? Nice, I don't know if she did that on purpose, but. Works. No! Zidrani needed to hold on to her ultimate. Alright, nice. Yeah, if Zidrani just held on to her ultimate until my guaranteed E stun, we definitely kill Kai Saban under turret there. And probably Leona too, although, eh, debatable. But at least Kaisa, and that would be more valuable. We got the Bork. Now we're going to be headed straight into Ginsu's. I'm actually going to sell that potion for a dagger. This should be worth it. I don't need it for sustain. I've been holding on to it for so long, actually. We were so close. No. Oh, thank God. Probably dead. Unless. I don't think Repulsi actually blocks tower shots, does it? So it wouldn't matter. That was Leona's top, right? If I find Kaisa, I should be able to just run her down. My Bork, sh my Bork gives me a lot of kill potential in lane. Oh, she's not here. Okay. Hello. Yep, did a lot of damage thanks to that Bork. Oh, why did I just waste E? There's gotta be a Fiddlesticks here, right? Get me out. Get I'm so slowed! <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. I flash away, I Q away. What else can I do? Man. Oh, well. There's not much point upgrading to every H knife, and it literally only gives me 1% attack speed if I don't have crit. So I'll just do another dagger. Anyway, my bad. Maybe if I hadn't wasted E on Sion ult. Why Vagar can bot? Just... Bro, just let me finish off my turret, what the fuck? The hell? So Kaisa should be the one here this time, right? With that ult though, I don't know if I won't be one or so. Chill for now. I don't want to shove though. I want to first to walk up because eventually I will have ult and then I can 1v1 her. Oh, I think I got life still. Okay, and I got a cannon. 
Yeah, I mean, you see how much he kicks mass and truck trades too. Needs to be an extended fight. Hang on, I got a fucking delivery for a bit. I don't know if I can kill her or not. I haven't been paying attention to the map for the past 20 seconds. Okay. Am I getting dived? Come on, come on. I need to catch her. Here we go. Oh, he's there? I thought he was flanking! What the fuck, man? Oh. Who's banking me just because I was getting flanked by a Leona, man? Oh well. Could have just literally walked away from Leona. Ooh, nice. I'm just gonna walk straight bot. This fight might still be gone by the time I get there. Nice. <laughs> so Johnny walking up the kill still. Alright, I'm running going mid. They needs a visual rework so bad. Yeah, I suppose she does. Could look a lot cooler. Even just casually DPSing the wave down, trying to deny farm for many of her carries that might want to come mid anytime soon. Bro, what a terrible support. Terrible fundamentals. Bot in case I'm needed. Let's do Drake. Vagar. Gotcha. What? <laughs> nice to Johnny. Okay, huge shit done for me and no Magi stacks for Fiddle. Let's go. It's a shame that I needed the flash, but I mean, it's, it's for it is in exchange for his flash as well, I guess, so it's fine. So now we move on to the Titanic Hydra. I'll get the red buff. Also, the, what's nice about this is it actually gives me wave clear that Vayne usually doesn't have. 
Look, if I wanted to do Raptors, which I won't because the run is on them, but wanted to, would have so much more wave clear. Even for our waves, it's actually really useful. Even before the Titanic Hydra. I'm just gonna keep pushing. Nice. Now watch me annihilate this wave. Nice. Oh. One father open here. Awesome. Ow. Need to get out of her range because I don't know if she has it or not. Okay, nice, not even close. <laughs> Baited. I didn't think Sindra would have flash, or sorry, ult anyway. To be fair, because I mean, there was just a fight. Okay, if he's basing, I'll just continue farming, because I got life still anyway. I, wish I won't be too vulnerable here. Oh, I can also take care of this ref hold really fast, hopefully. I was just worried about getting into position where Fiddlesticks might ult me if he's around. Yeah, there he is. Brother was trying to ult me hard. How can I not get hit behind it? What the fuck? I, I swear I hit it so many times. In the eye. Ow. She does have ult now for the record. Relatively sure about that. There we go. Come on. There we go. Fuck. I just ran in the opposite direction of Baron. Ah. Could do it. Hello, Danny, my old friend. Hello. I don't know who you are, but thank you very much for the tier 1 sub. Appreciate that. I shouldn't risk it. Why is he TPing here? Oh, he thought we were doing Baron. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna base. I got way too much gold to spend. Oh, it's Kyle. How you doing, buddy? Figured you were somebody that name changed. Hurricane before Titanic, or sorry, before Riftmaker. I'm gonna solo the Drake. Nice to stop the brown, I'm pretty sure. Unless Fiddle is still on it. Nice to stop, yeah. Cool. That's nice one, guys. And now look at my wave clear. I did not touch any of the casters and they're all dead. Oof. No! I just barely got hit by that. 
I need to get out. Fuck me, my bad. Oh, damn it. If I'd instantly flash when I meant to as well. Unlucky. I don't take true damage from Syndra W. Oh, is that some new effect it has? I wouldn't be surprised. I didn't read what the new Syndra does. Okay, okay. Nice one. They just can't get a fucking bear enough. Oh, I don't know about that one, Sidrani. <laughs> at this point, you probably could do Riftmaker, though. But if the whole point of the build is Titanic Hydra, then Renan's is better for multiplying the procs. It would definitely be tankier with Riftmaker, though, here. Which definitely would have a lot of value against this Fiddlesex. It's really fucking hard to avoid him, as you can see. Like, I can actually do Raptors just super smoothly here, too. No effort whatsoever. Damn it. I got it, I think. Wait, did I? No. My bad. <laughs> now I got it. Wait, no, I was gonna get it, but what the fuck? I couldn't auto. Oh, cause fuck. I don't know why, but Fiddlesticks' corpse wouldn't let me auto attack the raptor there. Like, I was attack moving, but moving. But there was a raptor right there, so it should've been auto attacking, right? Yeah, let's do it. I can already base for... No, I can't. <laughs> no, I cannot base for Runins. You're not going to shield bow? No. Give me out. Okay. We'll farm here. Did I get seen there? If I didn't, then I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna try it. What? Okay, she had vision. What? Fuck me, I accidentally... What? Dude, I accidentally sent my camera myself. Damn it, I didn't even get to see her HP. It must have been close. Ah, yeah, she... how did I not see her ward that, though? It must have already been warded. That's crazy unlucky. What the hell? Either that or I just missed rewarding. Bro, this guy made me think I was DC'd because he was standing still. <laughs> yep, send your damage. What, are what is this item damage, though? That could not have just been purely Leandri's. What? That doesn't make sense. Oh boy. Okay, I've got a lot of AoE now. Can't hit her. Fiddle my trend ult here. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> He's gonna ult now. But they do have a Syndra. I can only assume I'm melting them with AoE here. Come on, I keep losing vision! 
Fuck me, man. God damn it. No, Pike. She's nearly got her, though. Or Fiora's nearly got her. There we go. Jesus, man. Yeah, pretty decent Titanic Hydra damage already. Like, it's... It's already done, a, like, a third of the Bork damage, even though I've had it for so much less time. Also giving 46 AD, which is not bad. And a lot of HP, like, the main, the main selling point about Titanic Hydra isn't that it necessarily does more damage than other items, because in some fights it might do, depending on how much AUE you can get, but in other fights it won't. In most fights I, re I reckon it won't. But the damage to tankiness ratio that it gives is just insane. Because 500 HP is no fucking joke. Okay, we're <laughs> headed towards the Riftmaker, even though we have zero fucking AP scalings. But uh, the idea behind this is that the 3% bonus damage, scaling up to 9%, and converting everything to true damage. It's gonna help us do a lot of damage, especially because we got so much on-hit that it's gonna be amplifying. I don't know if it amplifies my W, would be sick if it does, but even if it doesn't, it should still be okay. It's just unfortunate that, uh... Oh, and, uh, obviously, aside from that, it also gives omni Bamp, which is, you know, super good on Bane. We obviously can't do um, Ravenous Hydra here because we already have Titanic Hydra. Okay, Brown's up in a minute. So overall, I mean, you can see we've already got 3,000 HP, right? Oh, no. Bro. I can't... Auto, I'm so slowed. There we go. Come on! No! I just barely didn't guess how I'm about to keep switching focus. Oh, Fiora, you're so close. Okay, nice. She's won the fight now. Oh, well, she could have killed San. Close. Okay. Yeah, my bad. That was not... Cleanest of fights. Unfortunately, I cleansed something, and then I don't know what else I got slowed by, but I was slowed for so long that it took me ages to just to walk like five steps towards Sion to start DPSing him. If I'd started DPS DPSing him from the start, I would have done so much more damage in the fight. <laughs> nice. What a monster, Fiora. She's not even fed, she's literally only got seven kills. Barely more from than me either. Nice. <laughs> Is she literally just gonna solo end or what? Yeah. Yeah, let's do Baron now. While the Hurricane though, it multiplies the amount of Titanic Hydra Fox that you do. Basically, it does it times three. And Ginsu's also does it times two. I don't know if they add up together to do times six. I'm not sure. Would be cool though. Basically, it's just a build that revolves around the Titanic Hydra. But whereas most players rush it, I think that's a mistake because... It just doesn't do much damage as a single item. I think this build path is much smoother because it gives you regular items that work better as standalone. But then also transition really well into synergizing with... Uh, Titanic Hydra. There we go. Okay, now we got 3,200 HP, so we are one tanky vein. But you're also gonna see we're gonna do a lot of fucking damage. Doesn't work with W? Yeah, no, obviously it doesn't multiply your W proc. It's not about that. I should have allowed him to think he could kill me because I have plans. Okay, nice. I need a Syndra to miss that. Fuck's sake. 
Okay, I'm good. Damn it! I didn't kill him. Oh, so close. I was one auto off. Alright, GG. Dude, we only survived a fight because we have so much fucking HP. Oh, I didn't catch how much damage my Titanic Hydra did at the end there, though. But it must have been a lot. It was actually even the perfect game to test this build on, because I really needed to be tanky that game. Like, it's so fucking unavoidable, the middle sticks damage and the, and the Syndra damage. If she can get in our range of me. Or even just her fucking abilities are so long range. Yeah, no bad. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm not convinced about the Rift Maker, though.